Hey family, let's talk about some fun ways to challenge your man to text you back. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back. So you guys know that I'm absolutely a reader. So I was reading this book by Greg Michelson. It's called Power Texting Men. So I want to come here today and show you some text messages that you can send your guy to kind of challenge him and also see where his mindset is and, of course, start the conversation. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So here are 10 ways that you can spark the conversation with the guy that you are currently seeing and or dating. Okay, so the very first one is for you to text and say, I know you want me. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and get that conversation sparked. Like, I know you want me. And just leave it at that. Let him answer and then y'all go back and forth. Again, these are all conversational pieces because he going to be wondering, uh, where did that even come from? Okay. <laughs> The next one is, can't get over me, huh? I mean, you just can't get over me? Yes, yes. That's some confidence right there. That's some confidence right there that you putting out there. He going to be wondering, wait a minute, what? <laughs> and then you can start the conversation having fun, flirting, and whatever, you know, wherever the conversation leads. But this is absolutely, you're kind of challenging him to let him know that you are the prize, that you do have the confidence to send these things because most women won't do these things, all right? The next one is actually pretty fun, at least I think it's fun. If you play your cards right, things could get interesting. <laughs> now, he didn't even read these like this. This is the way that I think I would read them if I was receiving these text messages. So keep that in mind, but I just think that it's funny. <laughs> the next one is, I know you miss me. It's like, wait a minute. Do, well, was I even thinking about her? Do I miss her? Maybe I do miss her. <laughs> Maybe I do miss you. <laughs> the next one. How's it been without me? Uh, I mean, I don't know how it's been. <laughs> Basically, you get, you get your boo, you getting him the thing. And then he might not be your boo yet, right? But you're getting the guy that you're currently dating. Or you could be about the date. Mate. You, you're, you guys are seeing each other, right? So giving him a chance to think about some of these things. This next one is kind of iffy for me, but, you know, I'm going to head, go ahead and say it because it is a part of some of the things that Greg Michelson put out there in Power Texting Men. This is the only one that I'm kind of iffy about. Anyway, getting to it. The sixth one is, you know that there are other girls out there for you other than me. Mm, that one is kind of, for me personally, that one's kind of iffy, but I'm putting it in here anyway. That's his thing. Number seven, this might not be the way that you speak as far as your language, but change up kind of change up some of these things in order for it to sound like you. Anyway, the seventh one. Who's hotter than me? That's like, well, I mean, I can think of a couple of people that's hotter than you. So <laughs> but again, this is not for him to write back and say, I can think of a couple people that are hotter than you. What this is is for you guys to have fun, is to spark and start the conversation. And again, this is the way to get a guy to text you back. I have a video that I did like that, a video, um, I have a I have a previous video that I said get the guy to text you back. Of course, I'll link it up here so you guys can look at that video as well. But again, so this is a way for you to spark the conversation and to get the guy to text you back by sending sending him these challenging text messages to let him know I got that confidence though. The eighth one I absolutely love. I got options. So what do you get? Like Yes, I got options. What you got? <laughs> and that can be taken a variety of ways. You don't necessarily have to be talking about you got options of men. He can take it however you want to take it. Again, spark the conversation. Challenge him. More than likely, nine times out of ten, of course, it's going to go to him thinking that you're specifically talking about men. Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. I like this ninth one as well. The jury is still out on you. And I, like I can say all of that with attitude. So I like that one too. <laughs> Number 10, I must say that I like as well, which is, why should I date you? Tell me why I should date you. <laughs> 
<laughs> that one is like where all of the confetti and stuff is coming down. That was like the, the main one for me. Anyway, as I mentioned before, I didn't like, I was kind of iffy about only one of them, but I still think that these are great ways to challenge your guy, to get him to text back, and for the conversation to be sparked and for you guys to start um, connecting with one another. And as well, you guys are listening to what is being said as well as what is not being said. So take these challenging text messages into consideration. Let me know if you use any of them. Have you used anything like this before? Of course, you know that I love to read your comments and so you can put them down in the comment section down below. Of course, give me thumbs up if you like the video like this. And but before I go, I am finally starting to collect and ask you guys to send me questions because all of the month of March, I will be doing videos the every single day the month of March. So go ahead and send them to me on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me on both and then send me the message via DM message. So that would be great. I can pull them all off of there instead of trying to decipher and go through the comments here. Just Take that extra step for me and go over there, put the questionnaire so I can go ahead and answer them. I will see you in a future video. Deuces.